everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another day in Chiang Mai. We have literally just booked to get a bike for the day, which is our first experience on a moped, which, how are you feeling about this? It should be fine. I think they're pretty easy to ride. It's mainly the roads and other drivers. So we'll see, we'll just be careful. We're heading to a national park to walk and find some waterfalls. Yeah. The drive is roughly a 40 minute car drive away, so I don't know how long it's going to take us on the bikes, but it was 250 baht to hire the bike for a day, which works out to be... Five, six pound. Yeah, really, really cheap to have um, a bike, well, for the day. I think this might be it here. Let's see where today takes us. minutes later and we have made it to the Doi Satep National Park. It was literally one massive windy road through like the mountains but we're here. We've parked up the bike and now we're gonna go for a little wander. So Lucy and I have just found this lovely little cafe on the side of the road here. And I've just decided to stop for lunch. And this is what we have. I have uh, pork, garlic and pepper rice. There we go. Uh, fried basil with egg noodles. Actually looks a bit like bolognese, which is really nice. Both of these were 60 baht each, which works out to be £1.47, so cheap as chips. Really. Actually Bargain. cheaper than chips because chips here seem to be really expensive. Chips are expensive. Heading back to the hostel with our mate Buddy. We need to find some petrol somewhere so that'll be good because we've got a long windy road ahead of us which didn't have any petrol stations on the way up. So let's see what we can find. Yes. Oh, that was easy. The next day Very windy three and a half hour journey. We have finally made it to Pi. Callum is up on the top bunk here. I am on the lower bunk. This time we are in a 10 bed mixed dorm as opposed to six before. So we will see how this dorm experience goes, but all is looking good so far. So we got here about what, like 20 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, just kind of chilling out. The journey made us feel like a little bit queasy. 762 turns on the road, but um, first impressions of Pai, it looks stunning. It's a lot more chill than Chiang Mai. We got dropped at the bus station, so it was like a 10 minute walk with our backpacks, which is the most we've walked with them so far, which wasn't too bad. This hostel is really nice. There's some activities on in the evening, pool table, ping pong table. And yeah, we're gonna go explore now and see what we got up to, so enjoy. Get out. The time has finally come. It's our first cash withdrawal. We came out here with cash so we've just been using that but now it is time. We are running low and we're gonna get some cash out. We've heard that these um, card machines can sometimes swallow your card so fingers crossed that this doesn't happen. Yippee! Yes! Success! <laughs> You 
we are waking up today in a new day in Pai. There is a few touristy things that we are going to try and do today. That is the Pambok waterfall. There's the bamboo bridge which is over that way as well. We might also try and visit the natural hot springs here in Pai and maybe even the Pai Canyon tonight. We also want to try and get to do the tubing because that's like a massive thing here in Pai as well. But I'm not sure if that will be today or maybe tomorrow. But anyways, we're going to go and find some mopeds and some bikes today and then we're going to just get as much done as we can. It is already midday so we have wasted half the day but yeah let's see what we get up to she's our bike for the day So the bamboo bridge is essentially, as it says on the tin, it is a bridge made of bamboo. The bridge is actually about 800 meters long and it does take a little while to walk across it, but I actually thought this was one of our favorite days here in Pai. The bridge was so beautiful and the surrounding areas were just absolutely stunning. It was very, very blissful there. I think we were lucky as well because it wasn't very busy when we got there as well. You can climb up this little ladder to see the viewpoint over the rice fields. Unfortunately, at the moment, there wasn't much rice there as it has been freshly cut but it was still a stunning view and just a very blissful day out so I really do recommend if you are coming to Pai. I do believe the admission for the bamboo bridge is around 30 baht per person. We actually didn't get asked for admission we just sort of walked onto the bridge and nobody asked us which is probably a little bit cheeky but I do believe normally it is about 30 baht so just bear that in mind as well. Driving back from the bamboo bridge we actually stumbled across this temple on the side of the road as well which only captivated us purely because of these colorful dragons out the front and we just thought we had had to go in and see it. I have no idea what this temple is called. It also didn't show up on Google Maps, but it was definitely, definitely worth looking at because it was absolutely stunning. We then just rode on to go to the Big White Buddha, which is another tourist attraction here in Pai. And it was very, very high up. You have to walk up a lot of steps to go and get there. But it was, again, another very fascinating attraction, which I am glad we went to see. We then jumped on our bikes one more time this evening to go and see the sunset at a cafe called Two Huts, which I definitely, definitely recommend as well. If you are in Pai, it was absolutely beautiful and the most perfect sunset spot. They also had live music playing, which just completely set the scene for this beautiful sunset. Just in the pie night market, mm. Callum's just bought himself a corn dog. A corn dog. Tell us what you think. Mm. Is it good? No, it's really good. It tastes just like a frankfurter inside. Mm. <laughs> no. You like? No? I like the sausage, I don't like the other stuff. Okay. Gone for a, a very English slash obviously Italian option tonight. Definitely not Thai food. This is a large slice of pizza. Cost 75 baht, which is like £1.80. So actually kind of expensive for this. Definitely, definitely got it cheaper when I was on the Zanti strip. Are you just going for the fold? It tastes like home. That's a nice hat. Loosen up. Good morning, guys. It's Monday morning. It's just past seven. We uh, got up with our friends here to uh, 
go and see the sunrise at Pi Canyon and this is what it looks like. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is the reality of it. It's just foggy and we are still waiting, but I think the sun has risen. So we're probably gonna head back soon. It's a good view. Oh, I'm but we've so enjoyed tired. the fog. Peace out. It's good lighting here at this time of the morning. It is. That's that a looks good. Whoa, cool camera. shot. That looks sick. Wow. Nice. Oh, well, it hit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. That one was even worse. Wow, they're hanging off <laughs> the side. So guys, we have found ourselves at the most incredible pool. So it's just stunning, huge, but it's mainly the location. Look at this. And you're about to go for a dip, aren't you? Well, I'm gonna get changed and go for a dip. just editing this video and I'm deciding that I'm gonna end it here it's been quite a chop and change random mix up of videos but I do hope you guys have enjoyed seeing what we've gotten up to in Pi over the last few days if you have enjoyed watching as always please make sure to hit the thumbs up button leave us a comment and subscribe to my channel if you do not already there is a lot more travel content yet to come across Thailand and all of Southeast Asia so please do make sure you are keeping track on our journey thank you so much again for watching if you have made it this far and I I will see you hopefully in the next one. Bye. I really like them, so you might do, but you might not. Uh, they look nicer than the ones you had because they look juicy. Yeah, go for it. Mm. And a squid here. <laughs> uh, no, that's fine. <laughs> well done for trying.